Okay, um, I'm excited to hear with you to share this project. And well, I am Francisco Martinez. Um, we first uh, um, first we are going to talk about what is calorie restriction. And calorie restriction uh, refers to the uh, main effects on the organism, especially with uh, well, no, it refers to the average total reduction of calories without uh, incurring malnutrition. This uh, reduction is around in 20 or 40 percent. And as you can see on the screen, uh, this reduction uh, are related to or these effects on the brain are related to the constant um, exposure to, uh, to physiological stress that allows the organism to reconfigure its uh, response to to, to such stress stimuli and that allowing an improvement of the neural communication and promote, promoting plastic changes. This is important because this, um, these changes that may occur, especially in the hippocampus, when you uh, uh, put a subject to different environments uh, here in calorie restriction can reconfigure in particular way their physiological response in the way in the way in which information is processed at the neural level. And the hippocampus is one of the main areas that are affected by, by age and um, and especially this uh, will precipitate the future cognitive performance. Is, um, the, the calorie restriction could enhance or affect the, um, the, the consolidation of declarative memories or the context dependent spatial learning that, uh, and that depends largely on the plastic functional changes that we could uh, find in this area of the brain. Um, however, um, um, most of the studies that are performed uh, is uh, or were performing in samples and in older adult mice, and there is a little research uh, research about the effect of calorie restriction in other earlier stages of life. This is relevant because um, this calorie restriction is a non-pharmacological intervention that has been proposed as a, one of the most relevant to prevent the effects of 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 aging and, and and it has been little uh, reported on its effects at the cognitive level, especially in memory. So um, there are some mechanisms that uh, are uh, uh, has been reported, especially with cell signaling and change, changes in the morphology of the dendritic projections. And well, those changes um, referring to a benefit at the cognitive level to increase plasticity. That's why our aim uh, was to identify the gene expression and signaling pathways that may explain how calorie restriction affects hippocampal function in adult mice. And according with our methodology, we systematically search databases and articles through the NCB platform with uh, keywords and capturing the data with, uh, in met metadata bases. Then uh, we download uh, downloaded the um, RNA seq data, and then we analyze and trim. Perform we perform anti zero alignment with the most muscular genome, and we also conducted an expression count matrix. Then we um, we we did a differential expression between the conditions, and well, we annotated the genes uh, with the with the aim to know which genes there were and what their function was. Um, they was performed with R, with the DC2 and closer profile packages. Uh, our main result it was that from the 14 databases that, we, that were found, only one database was clear in reporting the data according to its models and, and experimental conditions. So uh, we only um, recovered six samples from that uh, database, and that database um, have uh, oh, well, we recovered three ma uh, three females and three males. Um, the calorie restriction ex exposure started when the mice uh, were two months uh, old and continued until 15 months of age. We also carry out a principal component analysis of transcriptome to observe the clusters that could be generated from the expression of diet-dependent genes. And we find that the control the calorie restriction samples in the principal component what are separated, indicating that at the global level, there is a change in the gene expression. After proving that there is a cluster 
uh, a differential cluster between these conditions, we analyze the rate of change of the genes and their significance. And we can see it uh, with this volcano plot, we observe that much of the change is related with the overexpressing genes. At least there and there, and there are 29 genes that are over uh, overexpressing. And also with these genes that are significant expressed, uh, we perform a hit plot. Um, oh, well, yeah, we perform a hit plot with those genes that were significantly expressed between the conditions and we identify the changes in genes according to our experimental maps. We observe a clear difference um, uh, in gene expression in mice exposed to calorie restriction versus a normal diet. There are genes that on the calorie restriction turn, turn off and while these same genes on the control diet and condition are turn, turn on. And also we, we identify genes corresponding to morphofunctional hippocampal cells, which uh, you can see on the left is, uh, on the left side of the screen. According with our bio biological process, we group them according to the general process. And then we we'll look for the genes that we had previously identified with a process related to the hippocampal signal in plasticity. Um, however, we also find another kind of biological process that are that are not related with the signaling or with the plasticity of the hippocampus, but they are related with the in which plasticity occurs, such as the angiogenesis and morphogenesis of blood cells, and also with immune inflammatory response. Um, Regarding the communi uh, cellular communication, uh, we found uh, different genes that are upregulated. One of them is PRP4. This gene, it has been reported that increase the production of reactive oxygen species that could damage the membranes and induce toxicity by drastic changes in ionic uh, homeostasis. And also we found the increase of expression of of sclerotin domain contain, uh, containing one. And well, this role is implicated with, oh my God, sorry. Um, the role is implicated, is implicated with uh, synaptogenesis and, and dendritic growth. However, it has been reported in the literature that the, this function or the plasticity function that ha could, um, could have this uh, expression of, of, of this gene could decrease by the TRPV4. That is the gene that previously uh, uh, I, I showed you. And also we found the increase of, of, of expression of aquaporin-1, which has been reported in uh, some neurodegenerative disease, such as Alzheimer disease. And also it has been reported with a cognitive impairment because uh, uh, it appears that its role is related with the permeability of the blood-brain barrier. On the other hand, we also uh, find some downregulated biological process. And as I told you before, there are another biological pro process that are not implicated with the hippocampus uh, per se, but these uh, biological process are related to leukocytomone cell activation that are related with the immune system, apoptosis induction, cellular protein signaling, and also with the changes of the morphogenesis and neural migration. That, 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 those are processes that are downregulated. And also we identify the main genes that are regulated that were relevant um, to, for the hippocampus. And these genes um, are, um, are receptors in hippocampal cells and its implication of communication is important. Um, those genes uh, are uh, RHO, GTP as actin protein, and also one in nutrient protein. That, as you can know, there are that these genes and colors that are usually found in the hippocampus. It's an essential functions, especially for the communication between them, especially in uh, for the support of the new synapses. Um, Finally, also we we found the the the, the underexpression of this argap six that is one of the coding gigs involving the actin, uh, C, um, with a remodeling uh, in general with a plastic sorry change. Interrupt, Francisco. Francisco, sorry yes. to interrupt your screen share. Oh, got got uh, canceled on us. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, share your screen again. 
Oke. Okay. Ya. Sorry. Now you can see it. Uh, no, we. Exactly. There we go. Thank you. Okay. And well, this this is another um, gene that we finding on the regulated. And in general, uh, um, we found that the calorie restriction and the early stages may be a detrimental effect because uh, could damage the or could lack the plasticity on hippocampus. And at least this happens at the beginning of the diet. And this is contrary to what has been report of, uh, reported in the literature which uh, is that calorie restriction is a strategy that prevents uh, cognitive decline. Um, therefore, it is important to elucidate the effects that uh, are different, uh, the effects at different stages of life, especially since they may be a process of, or meiosis that, be, uh, that may mask such benefits. And also we propose to generate a robust integration with an uh, interpretation of this gene expression with uh, behavioral analysis and also to replicate this intervention with a larger sample size because we can apply another kind of analysis such as differential co-expression analysis that could help to, dis to discern uh, some genes that can regulate the general expression of, 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 of genes. Um, um, that's all. Uh, thank you for attending this um, 